Yeah, let's take a look at the day in review from the perspective of our uh, Rio Rancho camera. Actually, this is a live view of life out there with just a little uh, deck of clouds overhead. It's not related to any sort of rain or any precipitation. You know, it's just dry out there. We can see that uh, through the humidity and dew point readings, but you can see as far as wind goes. Yeah, it is a what I would call typically gusty day across the area. So as you go about your Wednesday evening, keep in mind that clouds will stick around, uh, but we will also also uh, remain gusty at least until eight or nine o'clock tonight. Big picture showing that there are some clouds moving in and this is related to the system, which will be unfortunately bringing more wind than rain. And I know you, you probably don't like hearing that, but stick around. There is more rain in the forecast. It is on the way, just not tomorrow. Here's a look at our current wind speeds all across the state. Northeastern New Mexico getting the higher wind gust up to 36 miles per hour in Las Vegas and also Raton at 32 miles per hour and the temperatures while warm are not quite as uh, hot as they were yesterday, especially across southeastern New Mexico where we're looking at readings in the 90s. Right now it's a little bit cooler because of that eastern cold front which moved in overnight uh, looking at high 80s across the southeast. And so for tonight it's going to be comfortably cool, a little bit cloudy down south, otherwise a fairly typical spring evening. And then tomorrow comes along. This is one of those really critical days uh, that we we all need to be careful. Uh, basically, anywhere that does not have any sort of snowpack uh, is going to be vulnerable to uh, wildfire starts. That goes all across southern New Mexico, eastern areas of the state, where you see this uh, very bright red color. That's going to be a high wind warning, meaning gust upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour. On Friday, showers and thunderstorms move into the northwest area of the state. Uh, we will see limited accumulation, but at least it's something, right? Uh, that red flag warning, though, will start to shift toward eastern areas of the state, and that looks to be pretty consistent with what we're seeing for that incoming storm on Saturday. This is the one bringing cooler temperatures and also a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms. So that's going to relieve some of that uh, fire danger across northwestern and northern New Mexico, possibly even getting some pretty good thunderstorms in central areas of the state. But again, keep in mind, the rest of the state's going to be windy and there will be some fire danger. Uh, into Sunday. This is the day that we kind of take a breath and bounce back and head back into that typical spring pattern uh, where, you know, a little bit gusty in the afternoon, but nothing is uh, dire as what we're facing tomorrow. So really need to be uh, pretty careful for the next several days. I'm anticipating 90, so it's going to be another hot one. Hot, dry, windy. You know what that means. Fire danger for tomorrow. And then we start to cool down with a couple more systems into the weekend. Staying dry, though, for the Roswell area. The southwest, gust from areas like Deming and Silver City. Uh, those temperatures in the 60s and 70s and across the northwest for tomorrow. I'm anticipating some uh, thunderstorm activity arriving with that little bit of uh, cold air. That's about a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, but that better chance kicks in for Farmington, uh, Farmington on Saturday. The North Mountains for tomorrow. Yeah, going to be looking great. Uh, going to be seeing those cooler temperatures. However, the wind does remain. I'm continuing to see the potential for uh, some pretty good uh, rain showers. We're going to be uh, uh, seeing some potential in the north central mountains. Also, as we start looking toward the northeast tomorrow, this is going to be one of those areas with very high fire danger. The same for the East Mountains um, with some of those gusts getting into 50, even 60 miles per hour. As you can see from uh, Belen to Los Lunas into the South Valley, it's going to be gusty and dusty, unfortunately, so it's time to make sure everything's tied down in your balcony in your yard. Uh, otherwise, your neighbors might inherit it. Uh, otherwise, we're looking at some Friday and Saturday wind, but we really start bouncing back to the perfect weather by Sunday.